I'm sorry, old friend, but we're through. I see. Stark staring mad. So you finished with crime, have you? Don't you believe it. I'll give you three weeks. Did it ever occur to you, Andrew, that Noakes might not have been killed in the cellar? I get you, Peter. You mean he was killed upstairs, then when the murderer left, he came down the stairs and made himself comfortable. If his skull was as thick as some in Scotland Yard, he probably did. <laughs> Murder talking here. We're trying to forget it. You're trying to forget it. <laughs> I know why. I don't know what you're talking about. Don't you? We'll ask Frank Crutchley. Do you believe that I murdered Noakes? Well, frankly, I don't. But I know a lot of people who do, particularly one. I didn't do it. I swear I didn't. Now keep quiet. What's your first thought when you write a murder mystery? You used to write. To provide an alibi for all my suspects. Exactly. Darling, where's my grey sweater? Hmm? Oh, it's on the bed. Andrew's sitting on it. Oh. Exactly. Now, that's what makes this case very unusual. Five possible suspects, every one with a motive, and not one with an alibi. 